Welcome to another Safish OS app podcast and this time around I want to show you some improvements that I made by replacing or basically updating the WebKit engine of WebKit. First of all let's see how the current WebKit version of WebKit looks like. Uh, in Safish OS as you can see here the website gsmarena.com for example renders a little bit off I would say uh, instead of a carousel here navigation you have them aligned one by one in a column and the same goes here for the second one so it's simply wrong CSS rendering uh, but this is not the only problem I think the most annoying problem with the WebKit version currently in Safe OS is that it's very very crashy so let me go to a website that for a few months I cannot where is it for a few months I cannot really uh, I cannot really surf or browse on this website because WebKit just simply crashes and uh, this is uh, Spiegel the mobile site of Spiegel the Spiegel Spiegel online basically and if you the normal website render is fine but if you click on an article um, what you will get is basically WebKit crashing and then it starts again reloading after the crash and crashed again and crashed again until the whole browser is basically unusable and crashes as you can see here so what I will do right now if I just turn the camera around a little bit and let me just change this a little bit what I will do now is just install the I will install the new uh, packages the new WebKit version I just connect it to the phone via SSH and then I already dropped those packages in here as you can see here these are the packages that you need to install um, and what you can do now is it's basically Qt WebKit 5 212 so a completely new version of WebKit based on a newer web core and JavaScript core engine so what you can do here now is just type in package com install local uh, local and then I install all of these RPMs and basically say yes install and then I have my new my new WebKit version installed Qt WebKit version installed with all the nice goodness and features in this case it's also a version that has HTML audio and video support right built into the WebKit engine and what we'll do now is just go back to the smartphone turn this back on uh, so this should be now sharp hopefully and then uh, just re-execute WebCat with the new WebKit engine and first test GSM Arena and as you can see here now the CSS is now rendered correctly and I have the carousel menu where I can just simply go to an article article here I can go back as well as you can see here you have more fluid scrolling as accelerated uh, canvas support is now built in to a uh, WebKit and as you can see here scrolling is much more fluid and um, the pop-ups of loading stuff in the background is not so visible in here and of course the most noticeable difference if I go to my Spiegel website again and I click on the article in here the one that crashed the last WebKit version as you can see here it will just simply load this and will not crash anymore 
which is a pretty nice uh, thing and I can just read the article without my browser crashing on me. The cool thing is uh, we have HTML5 uh, support as well in here. It's, at least it's an experimental version still because there are some problems and some difficulties still just like for example the performance is not very good. Let me try play this back here. And there's no full screen support, so if I click on this full screen, oh, there is full screen support, uh, apparently. And we go to landscape mode, so there's full screen support at least, but not in this player, but not in all players. Um, so some players have full screen support, others players, other players don't have full screen support, which is uh, unfortunate. Uh, in this case, it's I think an ad, just doesn't matter. And it goes to mute every time, which is also a problem. But as you can see here, in general it works. In this case you don't see it because it's a documentation-like video, but it is a little bit slow, so 10-15 FPS only, which is a little bit slow, but still better than uh, not having anything um, at all. So this is basically the HTML5 support, of course. If you go to other websites, just like for example um, a website with podcasts, you will get, of course, also an integrated uh, player in here, HTM HTML5 audio player. And in this case, I think I managed to fix the audio so it will not mute stuff, which is unfortunate. Uh, otherwise you have also the media bar anyway that you can use um, even with HTML5 audio support uh, or video support disabled in the WebKit browser itself, um, in the WebKit rendering engine itself. The WebCat browser has its own support for this kind of, its own support, reading the tags, the audio and video tags and try to uh, read the source and then allow you to play this back. But as you can see here, I have uh, my podcast here. I can click on this and we start the playback. You might hear in the background audio is working fine. Pretty nice. I can skip somewhere. They can hear me talking about some stuff. So this is basically the um, WebKit 5.212 version, which is, I think, a lot better than the old uh, cute WebKit 5.6 version that uh, SafeJS usually ships with. And uh, it has all the bells and whistles. If you have installed this uh, version, of course, it will replace the whole cute WebKit. Uh, engine. This means other applications using Qt WebKit, just like the Yola email application, will use this as well. I did not uh, ex experience any lags or problems with this so far. There are some other applications, just like for example Sailbook, I noticed that have difficulty difficulties with the um, device pixel ratio hack. It needs a little bit of adaption. Um, the uh, Yola email app does not have this problem because it uses the correct device pixel ratio hack basically. And uh, yeah, this is my little demonstration for how to install and how this new Qt WebKit version might improve the user experience um, with third party applications, uh, third party browsers, just like for example WebCat. Hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and thanks for watching.